just that. It's a really intense study, which includes the issues of the dentition. That's the reason why I published in the dentistry journal, because here's how the dentist look at you. And here's really how much chiropractors also see. It's still this is the um, American Dental Association's Atlas of the Mouth, ADA. So when they see you, they see you like this. And even most chiropractors kind of stop there at the top of the neck. Okay? Hmm. Where's the rest of the picture, right? So the dentists don't, that's the reason they finally published it. They didn't want to put my paper in their dental journal, but I said, you don't know this stuff, and they finally agree that they, their, their teachings don't include all this that we have in chiropractic discovery and that I work through. So here they say, look, whoa, it's back. But where's the rest of the bones? Maybe this one shifts, moves. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Here they say it's forward, same thing. Okay. So, but they see no anything. That's not how they train. When they see a child, and it, where's the rest of it? Okay. Hmm. They see well, this is the side. Well, okay, yeah, fine. Now, here's how they look at a child, a baby, a newborn. I think you should get a lot more recognition for what you've done. Well, thank you. Um, I've been plugging away. I, I tell you that three million people on the, on the internet, there's a picture of, of a child here which is idealized. Um, I should have this marked. So Kind of, Three million people. Here's, here's how they see a child idealized like this. When in fact, in my paper, we, we talk about. The idea that the first injury is your birth injury. It's a head injury. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Adam ate the apple. He was going to have a difficult childbirth. It's the first question. Everything's been going well until childbirth. Okay. First healthcare issue right. when they're a child. Now, if that happens, then shouldn't the first question that an orthodontist have is, okay, let me see the birth pictures, let me see if push this way, that way, this way, that way, for the birth Well, nonetheless, this is how they start seeing it. Now, here's where the entire thing falls apart, with all their theories. They teach, and we all know from our general science or maybe from Nova shows, that a single tooth has the high spots and the low spots that can determine species and stuff like that. And so it's true. Every tooth on every human being with, is, is genetically perfectly perfect to meet the one above and below, high spot and low spot, and the one next to it perfectly. Mm -hmm. Well, if it doesn't, and it throws off the if it doesn't, what happened? Did every tooth, all of us, jump into some kind of mutated shape? No, the teeth are still perfectly meant to meet each one top and bottom exactly. Well, there's a paradox here, isn't there? The only solving the paradox is to accept that this must be where the problem is. So this is, it completely um, devastates all the orthodontic theories. <laughs> the entire profession. It's, it's, it's midgets. Yeah. So that something off up there could affect yeah. down your will affect you. Yeah. Will affect has to can't not. Right. Yeah. And it's the first injury, head injury. So all once the teeth, uh, or the artist looks at the, baby, uh, at the young child, so your teeth not coming in straight. And instead of trying to readjust the skull, they try to stretch the teeth around, um, and then they put a retainer because it's want to go back. So then they have to, yeah. And that causes more problems, headaches, and other kinds of problems as they curve dress it. Instead of popping it back in the middle with the balloon or whatever else. So, um, but the first injury is the birth injury, and that's when any problems should be taken care of as quickly. So any birth injury should be attended to. Misalignments of the skull should be eliminated. And uh, that's where the body, too. But uh, the skull, of course. But again, their theories don't you know, just fall apart when they go, well, it's all genetically programmed, or it doesn't quite meet. Well, there's your 
that's how you, that, there's only one way to, there's a paradox in there. And so there is, there is a solution to it. So dentistry, uh, they're all threatened by chiropractic. Uh, I just mentioned the autologist, pop the ears. They don't pop ears. You know, my brother had sinus surgery a long time ago because he was so stopped up all the time yeah. with allergies, but he could never, and he could never, he could, couldn't really smell anything until he was like a teenager. And he had, he had sinus surgery, but I wonder if that would probably help. It would have. Oh, yeah. it, most likely what he was, was like, most, a lot, you know, many people know you can do this, mm -hmm. get more air, but if you're, and really, your breathing should be dynamic, meaning that every animal, when you look at the deer, the cow, the dog, the nostrils are. Mm -hmm. I think they drilled up and had to like open this nasal passage just more or something. Well, they, they put it surgically in there again and or, cutting and slashing as opposed to popping loose and putting it back in the middle. And hopefully he had good success, but many people have only partial success. So they don't really know how much more is really necessary because they're still like this and all they did is get, put a bigger hole. Yeah. But the thing is, it's not about that. It should be the dynamic. Mm -hmm. all these I'm not supposed to be stuck. All right, so. Um, Thanks for explaining all that. That's awesome. Yeah. Now, um, <coughs> do you have the uh, YouTube on one of your phones? Can you can, yeah. can, can, uh, can yeah. you yeah. Just put your two up for me. Well, I'll show you what it's I want copies of these. Yeah, um, I have a. I have a copy of <laughs> that I can. Um, a PDF copy.